when I was doing my research and, you know, I was learning that, you know, I mean, I mean, I heard about it a long time before that you were considered, you know what I'm saying, for the part of your dad. You know, it, it kind of like dawned on me, like, it would be really hard for me to play my dad passing away. There you go, brother. And, and it, I, wow, great, 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 great thing you brought up. Uh, and I'm glad you touched on it because that's 110% exactly what Dr. Dre and Ice Cube told me to my face. You know, F. Gary Gray as well is the, the only problem they had was not knowing if I would have played him dying. And they weren't comfortable with asking me that, doing that. And then at that time they played him dying, it was going to be detrimental weight that I would have had to lose, even though we know you could do it. And he said it. F. Gary Gray said that, and I respect him for that. You know what I'm saying? I respect him all the way for that. You know what I mean? As, as he, didn't, he felt it was the proper thing for me, too. But it was just things in the movie, in the script, that he just felt like, like, damn, like, nigga, we finna... And then it's like, cool for him to lose weight, but it's like this time that he's going through the sickness on a deathbed, it's like, we need you to use drastic weight. You feel what I'm saying? And then play this part. You feel what I'm saying? So I respected that and understood that all the way. You feel what I'm saying? And and I appreciate you even bringing that up because it's like, that's exactly what was said and it dawned on, did not on me to uh, bring that up is, you know, they're kind of right, you know what I mean? And, and that was probably like, the coolest, smoothest thing to make me feel like I didn't care, but I didn't care regardless, you know. You gave me an opportunity, I didn't make it. My whole thing was, you know, I need a better actor. It is what it is, you know. I didn't have the proper time uh, um, or the individuals around me to sit here and put me in the proper positions to sit here and learn from that early, but it is what it is, you know. It came down to, I respected that part. All the other stuff I could have figured was bullshit, but that part I did understood, you know I mean, not playing him dying. You know, I, I wouldn't have wanted to. Yeah, I wouldn't have. You got to think. Like, I'd have fucked around and fucked the whole movie up if that was the last part you filmed. Like, yeah. I'm cool. I can't do this. Fuck this, you know. Hey, you'd have said one word in the process of him dying. I'd have walked the fuck off the set. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I'd have probably been overly tormented again because that scene made my whole entire family walk out of the screening crying. You know what I mean? So I can imagine just playing it and, uh, you know. And then feeling like, oh, it's okay. We did some stuff successful. We got it off. Nah, I couldn't. Nah, nah. It's just some shit that, you know what I mean, regardless of how people look at it, um, you know, all monumental, this, this, you know, bucket list. Nah, nah. Because why? That was a pain in my whole entire life of why I'm the way I am now. I pray about praise to God that I was, I, was, I was touched on and fixed, but I would never want nobody to grow up, you know what I mean, with the situation of your father being taken from you don't know. It's some niggas who know their daddy got shot, you know what I mean? And like, hey, well, at least we know this group of people over here shot him. You know how your father died. You know what's happening. As stupid as crazy it may sound, but, you know, living with a mysterious of like, what the fuck? That, that's not cool, bro. Not cool. Yeah, man. I can't imagine, man. I, yeah. I, it must be really tough. Yeah, yeah. You know. What do you think the biggest misconception about your dad in the movie was? He was broke at the end of his, his time. Gotta think he put, this give you facts, he put straight off the streets of motherfucking Compton. Went platinum by himself. You know, went platinum by himself. Bone Thugs and Harmony, we all know what what they, we all, it, it's it's nothing you can, let's rewind. Bone was killing him. Yeah, don't, don't say, don't say, oh yeah, yeah, if, no, they were successful. He did discover them. He did put them out. They are on Ruthless. They will be in a, the, the Hip Hop Hall of Fame is probably one of the next great best groups in hip hop there is. So you mean to tell me that we were looking at a decline in his lifestyle? And then as his son, which is a fact, is that the last house we went to before my father died was the biggest fucking house. You feel what I'm saying? So where in life was there a decline? We moved from a small house in Woodland Hills into a big house in fucking Calabasas before he passed away. You feel what I'm saying? I'm getting lost in the moment. We playing hide and seek in that moment. It's, I don't want to even go in his office because it's, it's downstairs all the way around with a Chucky doll in there and it's, it's dark and it's big in there. So as his kid, as his child, as his family, that was false. You feel what I'm saying? He did not roll around. Now, no, no, no disrespect due to Dr. Dre whatsoever, but he did not go into a sad zone. You feel what I'm saying? Or messed up zone because Dr. Dre left. You feel what I'm saying? No, look at he kept it cracking. You know, he kept it going and he was getting paid off of him. You know what I'm saying? Like, what was the biggest concept my dad always talked about? Money. I ready to deal with the money than the motherfucking name. Give me a pen and then rap. But all that other bullshit without money ain't jack. You feel what I'm saying? Think about how, he, how his attitude was. It wasn't about that. 
The biggest hurt was the individuals that probably took money from him. You feel what I'm saying? Individuals who probably were doing him sideways behind his back. Had nothing to do with as far as all the shit that they crying and shit. Man, they weren't crying or no shit. He, that nigga was psychotic. <laughs> crying. I don't even... The only thing I probably seen him cry is his big cousin funeral, which is my older cousin. His big cousin was my second cousin. Other than that, nah. My father wasn't, didn't have no soft heart like that or was broke. Yeah, I remember when I seen it. I was, it was kind of like, I was kind of like, why, why were they even? Yeah, he moved to a different house, degraded. And I'm telling you, it's for a fact, God to honest truth. God to honest truth. Not on my mama, not on my daddy, not on the God to honest truth. Is it was the biggest house we were in. If anything, you guys were upgrading. All the way, bro. Instead come of downgrading. On, come on, bro. It was the biggest house. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. 